this is somebody who has access to a lot of money and is suffering some drug addiction. Uh, at one point, we could just assume half of that probably went to some type of drugs. We could just, he spent $683,000 on prostitutes. I don't know who will do that. That's a lot of prostituting. And his wife is $397,000 in clothing and accessories. Well, you got to look good. All that money on prostitutes, you, you got to have some type of look to you. So, okay, $400,000 in clothes, $309,000 in education. I'm pretty sure his kids go to private school, college. I think he got a daughter in college or something like that. $237,000 in health and medical expenses, uh, $236,000 in retail purchases, Two hundred and fourteen in food, two hundred three thousand in insurance. Mortgage was one hundred and ninety one thousand. Everybody will probably say he need to get his life together. Why is he spending all this on? He's spending like a, a just a regular old black person. They don't get no money. Hunter Biden is indicted on nine tax charges, adding two gun charges in the special counsel. Now, this was um, on December the 8th. So he he was the, indicted for nine tax charges in California as the special counsel investigation into business dealings of President Joe Biden's sons intensifies against the backdrop of the 2024 election. Some people are, they are going to I, uh, separate Hunter Biden from Joe Biden. But you know, the Republicans are trying to impeach him. Right now, they're doing some type of impeachment investigation on Joe Biden, and it is close to election time. And we know that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, it doesn't matter if you impeach them in the back of their mind, they're going to be looking at him like, OK, we already seen on the news that Hunter Biden got five five million dollars from uh, Burisma, which is tied to Ukraine. And other monies that he received and they showed how these monies were separated and Joe Biden got a cut of it. It's already in people's minds that we think there is some type of corruption between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. And Joe Biden, which is the president, is saying to the public, saying, I didn't have any business dealings with my son. But as they've shown, yeah, you say you didn't have any business dealings with your son. But however, every time your son was on the phone with some of these business dealings, people say hi to my dad. <laughs> like, Come on now. So it's in the back of people's mind. And the media is telling us, oh, they're going to separate Joe Biden from Hunter Biden. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. I mean, you got to be insane or blind, deaf or dead to not put the two and two together. I mean, you literally got to be one of those three to not put the two together. OK, so and it's saying that these new charges, three felonies and six misdemeanors are in addition to the federal um firearms charges in Delaware. Hunter Biden spent millions of dollars on extravagant lifestyle rather than paying his tax bills. Special counsel um, David Weiss said in this statement, the charges are centered on at least $1.4 million in taxes Hunter Biden owed during 2016 and 2019 in the period where he acknowledged the struggling with addiction. I already posted. I don't know if you guys saw my post that I put up. This is what Hunter, Hunter Biden spent his money on things that you and I don't have the luxury of, of spending because we don't, we're not tied to our daddy. You know, we're, we don't have the luxury of having um, people that we know in the White House. From 2016 to 2019, this is what he spent his money on. This is the cash breakdown. We could just assume that $1.6 million in cash withdrawals. Who would draw $1.6 million in the span of well, three years? A crackhead, <laughs> a crackhead. He said he battled with this addiction. So this is crackhead spending. <laughs> he don't have any assets. 
his assets is in cash withdrawals. I don't know what he bought with that. This is crackhead spending. He spent $191,000 on loans and mortgages, maybe student loans or somebody you had to pay back. Then just under that, you spent $188,000 on porn and adult entertainment. Is this a significant amount of money to be spending on porn <laughs> entertainment? Like, come on. Why wouldn't you put porn and prostitution on the same line? I don't Wouldn't that be the same thing? But maybe not. Good porn is just something you could view on the internet. $147,000 on legal and accounting fees. Why are you paying the accounting and then you are in this trouble for tax evasion? To me, that's wild. You are paying your accountant this much and now you about to go to jail for taxes. $118,000 in telephone and utilities. You spending half of your mortgage on telephone. <laughs> Who does that? You spending $191,000 on mortgage and then a over half of that in telephone and utilities. To me, that don't make no sense. He went to drug and rehab. He spent about $80,000 80, there. Um, he didn't put no money in the bank. This is just for bank advisors. This is how much he paid, $53,000 for Roth and IRA advisors. Is that how much he invested? We don't know. Uh, 58000 in credit card payments, 42000 in home improvement, uh, child cleaning and cleaning services, other entertainment, 24000 and recreation, maybe golf or something like that. Hunter Biden, he spent a lot of money. And if we go back to what we were talking about, let me share this tab. He had an extravagant lifestyle. Rather than paying his taxes. He said, screw, screw the taxes. He want he wants to um smoke crack and freak on hoes. Um salute from Vermont, Vermont. Thanks for tuning. Uh paying taxes is obviously racist. Ta taxes are only for Republicans. <laughs> uh Massachusetts. Happy Monday to you. Um Vince. He taped the hookers. Why did he need to buy corn too? When you're doing some illegal or illicit drugs, you, you don't think with a clear mind. Yeah, it does. Hope everyone is well this Monday. Rome, thanks for tuning in. Um, crackheads, I doubt all the Chinese money he got is in the U.S. bank or overseas. They probably got a lot of overseas uh, um, accounts that we don't know about. This is unbelievable that the president and his family can get away with this for so long. I'm not surprised about this. Wesley Snipes somewhere and all the other people that went to jail for taxes. Not only did this man get charged in Delaware for taxes, he's charged in uh, California. To me, it's just wow. And he's still walking around like nothing's happening. He's been evading being prosecuted or convicted for this crime in, in Delaware for the last three, four years now. They indicted him a long time ago and they're, they're still moving along. And over the summer, his lawyer tried to finagle the judge to bury in this thing deal where they was going to drop some of the charges. And she was like, no, uh, uh. Because he was violating some type of, they have another pending charges, like some foreign, I think it's called FARA or something like that. You have to be a foreign nationalist or something to that nature to do business overseas. And he does, he didn't have that. So they're trying to get him on that too. Uh, Dwayne, the charge I see missing is failure to register as a lobbyist for a foreign company. Yeah, that's that FARA. Money and power allows you to break the law. Sadly, exactly. And Murphy said when asked whether he thinks Hunter Biden prosecution is political and his lawyers contend, I think this is a very troubled individual who has done things that are worthy of prosecution. And so I look forward to that case continue. Ultimately, the American people understand that Hunter Biden is not going to be on the ballot next fall. It doesn't matter. If you're trying to tie us into foreign national uh, people that we don't, chi chi number one, China, you're in bed with China. You're in bed with Ukraine. 
You have all these business dealings. You sat on the board for that gas company in Ukraine. You have no experience in utilities. What experience do you have? None whatsoever. And he's going to be indicted for that. Um, so now he's facing uh, felon, three felony tax charges in um, relations to the tax evasion and filing false return. He filed false re returns. So Hunter Biden's in, in trouble.